solar panels. Let's talk about my setup on my vehicle. Since I've purchased my camper trailer, I've made a few changes to the setup on my vehicle. Now you might remember I used to have a DC DC charger in there where well, probably used to yes that's right used to I don't have a DC DC charger in here anymore because what happened is before I went away on my trip down to the Gumbara Valley last year in August I went away on a two and a half week trip traveling through the inland out back Australia out through Gundawindi all through there up the guts of Queensland back into my hometown here in central Queensland absolutely awesome trip the best trip that camper trailer it's the best thing I ever done it allowed me to make a few changes for the better one of them was I had some issues with that DC DC charger for quite some time and it totally failed before I left on the trip and that got me quite concerned because I thought oh what am I going to do I don't want to invest you know big money in a DC DC charger and be honest there's no way I was going to buy another Red Arc. So I always wanted to get one of the Victron the new Victron DC DC charger which is 50 amps but they were around about 470 at the time it was just way too much for me to spend just before a almost three week trip I needed every spare cash I had with me for this trip to cover any breakages the fuel the diesel camping fees etc my meals and all that so I didn't want to be put at a disadvantage there so I looked to see what was the best other option is so as you know I don't own a rooftop tent anymore so that allowed me to gain access on my roof again so I did some research and I came by a Jinko high voltage solar panel that was claimed 440 watts and it's high voltage so it's a household panel 36 volts and it's not much more than $200 I bought it at an electrical wholesaler locally here and I think with tax it cost me about $210 thereabouts so I thought well that's a lot cheaper than going out and buying spending 470 odd dollars on a DC DC charger that only works while I'm driving so which meant I would have still had to carry additional solar panels portable solar panels for when I'm at camp because be honest at one camp I was base camp in one spot for a whole week and yeah <laughs> <laughs> DC DC wasn't going to work for me even though the new Victron's are 50 amps now not saying I don't want one I still would absolutely love to own one of those Victron DC DC's but at this stage the cost just doesn't make sense to me because of this so I thought just before the trip I invested in one of these and mounted it up now yes it's a high voltage household panel now basically this is kind of what this video is about now when it comes to these high voltage household panels particularly today there's a few things you have to be aware of and one of it is there's a new type of high voltage panel starting to come out now that are really slim particularly their glass and you can tell you can pick them because they're black underneath all right now they don't have a very thick toughened glass on them so if you want to do this route which I recommend you do make sure you look for the solar panels that's got a white bottom on it because generally they have got the three mil thickened glass on them which is suitable 
for conditions that we use. So don't go out there and buy one of these latest technologies. Personally, I don't think they're as strong as these ones because these have got the toughened glass on the top, which makes them quite sturdy. Because to be honest, they're cyclone rated, guys. They're cyclone rated. Sure, your house is not moving. So unless you go and do any stupid speeds of sitting on the highway at 100 miles per hour, <laughs> you're perfectly safe with them. And I've pro proven it. Because I have not purchased the 12 volt panel in probably, you know, it's probably been 10, 12 years. 12, probably, yeah, it would be 12 years since I've purchased a 12 volt panel. You're paying all this money just because it's got 12 volt on it and it's and it's for four drive industry and so on. See, the prices when you compare to what you get with a household panel, it's just extraordinary the value. It's a Jinko, J I N K O, J I said Jinko, J I N K O. 440 watt solar panel, 25 year guarantee. You'd be hard fetched to find any 12 volt that's going to offer 25 year guarantee. And it weighs less than 20 kilos. And look at the space it takes up. Comfortably fits on top of my Pajero here. Three Pro Rack heavy duty bars and I made my own mounts to fit on the bar so it's mounted on six points on the bar. Now I used to have a high voltage solar panel on the top of this. That was the best thing ever. I've been on trips part of the way up to the Cape and not once did I ever have to use any additional source of powers. The high voltage panel I had on this vehicle kept my battery fully charged the whole trip. I even went to the point where I stayed at caravans that were powered sites and I didn't even have to connect into the power because that high voltage panel did all the work. But now I've got a much bigger system in the car. At the time I think I had that 100 amp hour AGM battery and 120 of this and I was only running the fridge and some LED lights. But now I've got a 110 litre upright fridge and I've also got the Victron Multi Plus inverter charger etc. I can run air fryers in this so I need a bigger solar panel. Hence, I mean, that solar panel I had before I started using rooftop tents on my vehicle for about three years. Now I've got rid of rooftop tents and gone for a camper trailer. That old solar panel, still got it here at the back of the house here, still occasionally use it at home. It's a 200 watt and it's about the same. Actually, it's probably a bit bigger but, and it's heavy. It's about three, four kilos heavier. Today's standard now for smaller size, a little bit less weight, not as thick, 440 watts, 440 watts. And let me tell you, what they claim is what you get. Not like a lot of these 12 volt solar panels now, you'd be lucky to get 75% of the capacity. This thing produces. So I get, okay, hear this, I get up to 30 amps per hour charge rate from that which matches perfectly with my PowerPool Australia Mercury 330 amp hour lithium battery there. Perfect matchup, absolutely tops. So guys, that's what I wanted to talk about. Because a lot of you out there are really limiting the power that you could possibly get. A lot of people are just all sticking to these 12 volt panels. But for years, I've known of people for years that are using high voltage panels. If you're on a bit of a budget, 
and you want something that's really good that's going to perform a lot better than your conventional 12 volt panels you don't have to cut them around with you all the time look at getting something like this just after 9 30 in the morning so the solar panel is flat on the roof and so the sun's on an angle so it's not the ideal condition yet I'm still getting 300 watts out of that panel just after 9.30 by around lunchtime she'll be up around the 400, 400 plus watts which it's converts to about over 30 amps just over 30 amps charge rate that I get going into that system now you must, it's very important you must, to get figures like that you must match it up with a good quality MPPT solar controller and the only one to go with in my opinion is the Victrons particularly the 100 slash 50 the Victron 100 slash 50 MPPT solar regulator matched with one of these Jinkos 440 solar panels you'll get 30 amp hours per hour charge rate during the peak of the time from about 10.30 through to about 1.30 during your day. Up until then you're looking at about 20. I'm probably getting about 20 or so charge rate in there now which is a lot of power which is quite a lot. Now imagine if you got about two or three of those on top of your camper trailer, your caravans just think of the power you're going to gain. It's incredible. So that's basically what I wanted to talk about on this video today because yeah I'm just hearing a few things that people saying oh no you must have a 12 volt panel. Oh no I don't know about that I'm going to go talk to my local auto electrician and, <laughs> and get their advice mate. <laughs> Sorry I know there's some of you out there auto electricians that do know your job but unfortunately a lot in out there guys don't know much about things like this. To be honest this is why I've learnt all this myself. All this technology you see here I've learnt this all myself because I got conned by so many auto electricians out there. Now I'm not bagging auto electricians. I know there are some good ones out there, but you guys are hard to find, are far in between. Generally, if you're in the city, you might have a better chance of finding them. But here in little towns like this, and that's where I learnt to do all this myself, and I saved a lot of money as well. So guys. That's what today's video is about. If there's any questions, just ask below. Until next time, eh? Cheers. Look after yourself. Be, be most important, be kind to everyone. Be kind to everyone, please. See ya. Till next time. Bye.